When I was in high school, the Atari 2600 came out. Yeah, I didn't really like it. So I decided I want to go be an engineer. So I'm at school in DeVry in Arizona, actually. And a friend of mine convinces me to, he basically drags me into the arcade there, and because he ran it, sticks $5 into Battlezone. He says, you need to play this game. I've, I've played video games literally every day since that day. And it wasn't long after that that I realized, you know, being an engineer, that's good, because then I can make video games. And I sort of focused the rest of my time in school. And I, I tried to get into video games after I got out of college. The reality was, it was 1982 and the video game industry in America crashed. So I ended up going to work at AMD, then to Wafer Scale, onto the industry in 88. I never gave up the dream of someday making the games. So it's 1988. I'm working at Wafer Scale Integration on memory chips, proms basically. Uh, and I got a call from a friend of mine who owned a store in Fremont, California, telling me that some guy wanted to talk to me. So it happened to be his, his office was on the way home from work. I go by there, it's a little company called Taxan USA Corporation. We end up talking about video games for a couple hours. Uh, randomly, he tells me he wants to give me some games that are gonna be coming out for the NES in about six months from their company, but only if I have a Famicom. That's the Japanese version of the NES. So I'm like, sorry, I don't have one of those. He's like, no problem, I'll call you back in six months and we'll give you some free stuff. Oh, okay, random, but cool. The, I get a call the next day. Hey, can you stop by again? Well, one of the things we talked about on that first day was the PC Engine. It was a Japanese system that had just come out the day before. I come pulling into their parking lot. I can see a con his conference room and he's sitting there and he's playing R-Type on the PC Engine. So my first thought is, yes! He called me up so that we can play R-Type. So I go in, we play R-Type for about 15 minutes and I'm in the middle of just about beating it. And he's like, yeah, we want to hire you. <clears throat> okay, I just laughed. You know, because I'm kind of long hair, dressed pretty much like this, didn't have a Robotron t-shirt, but you know, I was casual, t-shirt, jeans, long hair, very engineer. And I'm like, you know, I'm an engineer, I've been doing it for a while, I do okay. And he's like, no, no, I want you to run product development for my company. Long story short, a month later, I was out of engineering and into making video games. So in 93, I actually came up to the Pacific Northwest to work at Nintendo. And I was there for about eight and a half years, and I, I loved working at Nintendo, it was phenomenal. But in late 2001, Mr. Arakawa retired. About two weeks later, I get a call from a friend working on Xbox. Hey, we should go to lunch. I didn't really think anything about it. We've gone to lunch every six months or so, <clears throat> ever since I knew him. So about halfway through lunch, he's like, you know, Microsoft is actually a really good place to work. And I'm like, dude, I'm, you know, I'm perfectly happy. And it's like, and he's like, yeah, but you, you should just come over and talk to Ed Freeze. So I had lunch with Ed Freeze. What was actually going on though, we had shipped the GameCube and the Xbox had come out. What I was doing at night every night, going home and playing the Xbox. So it wasn't that hard for Ed to convince me that I should come over. And now I've been here for over 15 years.